microphones are too tall. Okay. <laughs> uh, my name is Kelly Henderson. I teach at Newton South. <laughs> Contract Action co-chairs with Mike Schlegelmelch, English teacher at Newton North High School. I'm Jamie Ellis, and I'm the art teacher at Burger Elementary. Mayor Fuller, can you hear us? We're going to get our speakers going. Max Page, let's go. Good afternoon, Newton. I'm Max Page, president of the Massachusetts Teachers Association, and I was so excited to be here, I forgot my jacket. <laughs> but it's cold, but my heart is warm because this is so inspiring to see you all here, standing up for yourselves. I have to say, the first thing I listened to last night at your, your rally last night was Elizabeth Del Porto reading from my dad's favorite author, Jane Austen, so I gotta read it again for people who didn't hear it. There is a stubbornness about me, or about Newton, that never can be, never bear to be frightened at the will of others. My courage always rises at every attempt to intimidate me. That's right. Speaking of the president, I just want to say you are an inspiration to all of us here, to your students here, to the families. You're an inspiration to unionists all across this state, many of whom are here today. You're an inspiration around the country. We have messages coming in from Becky Pringle, the president of the NEA, the largest union in the country. The president of UTLA, United Teachers Los Angeles, that went on strike twice for their students. From, from Ayanna Presley, Elizabeth Warren, and Senator Markey. And it's because you are standing up for yourselves and your students and the schools in this city. That is just the core of it, which is why you will win what you deserve, because you are standing for the common good of what everyone in this community deserves, and you know that the 117,000 members of the MTA will be with the NTA to, to right through to the end. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs> My name is Fran Rometta, and I work at Anger Elementary School. I, I began teaching in Newton 30 years ago. In those days, Newton was a premier district in which teachers were respected and valued. I felt proud to be part of such a progressive system that was known for its excellence and inclusivity. But that was a long time ago. I no longer feel valued for the quality of education we, as professionals, provide. Over the years, I have been part of many contract negotiations. This contract cycle negotiation has been different from the beginning. The city hired a union-busting law firm early on. <laughs> early on in this process that set the tone of them against us. It hasn't always been that way. And furthermore, this law firm is being paid with school budget money. <laughs> I remember when political leadership supported educators and students. City leaders in the past trusted educators, and they understood that we advocated for our students. 
We continue to do that. Let me advocate publicly right now. We need more mental health care for students. We need a humane parental care leave policy. We need a living wage for our aides and behavioral therapists. allowance for all educators. In case you haven't noticed, we are in the midst of a, a national teachers shortage. Over the years, I have observed that young teachers who join our profession on average last five years before they burn out and feel the need to leave. In 2023 alone, 51,000 teachers left the profession in the U.S. Speaking to administrators at local colleges and universities, the pool of teaching candidates has dropped drastically. All of this makes for a national education crisis. What is happening in Newton is a sad illustration of this. According to Newton's website, there are currently 80 openings in our school system. When we lose a staff member, it is very difficult to replace them. It is especially difficult to hire aides and behavioral therapists when you pay them below poverty level wages. I have never been more proud to be part of an organization that is standing up for what is right. Mayor Fuller, it is time to hearken back to the Newton I used to know one that values public education, one that honors its students' needs, one that values its educators. Mayor Fuller, we say enough is enough. and staff to support them. And if we want to recruit and retain our talented educators, we have to have sustainable working conditions because teaching conditions are learning conditions too. So please know that you are an inspiration, not just to educators and students and families everywhere, but to the labor movement as a whole 
because you're reminding everybody that when we fight, we win. When we fight, we win. When we fight, we win. The BTU stands with you all today and every day. committee telling me that teachers are hurting me. <laughs> you know, it's, it's frustrating. On, Mayor man. Fuller, I say we students are more than just a talking point. <laughs> and if anyone understands that, if anyone understands that, it is our teachers. <laughs> now, Mayor Fuller, I'd like to point out that if anything we've learned from our teachers, we've learned that the people who say, think of the children, aren't always on the right side of history, you know? <laughs> so Mayor Fuller, I don't know where you get the audacity to claim that our teachers are hurting us. When's the last time you stepped foot inside a Newton classroom? <laughs> for me. My teachers have always been there for me. My teachers have always stayed late helping discuss classwork. My teachers have always worked to make class more engaging. My teachers have always fought to get me into the classes I've wanted. My teachers have always stopped me in the halls, said hi, checked in on me. So Mayor Fuller, What's really hurting the schools, what's really hurting the students, is having classes of 37 students. Yeah. What really hurts us is losing sports teams, and clubs, and electives, and advanced classes. Yeah. What really hurts us is when teachers have to balance child hair and coming to work. What really hurts us is when teachers have to drive over an hour to get to school. What hurts us is we can't when we can't get access to a social worker when we need it most. And what hurts us is when our school rankings keep falling and falling and falling. So we stand with the Newton teachers in saying, say it with me, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. enough, is enough. Enough is enough! Enough is enough! Mayor Fuller, there is no shame in admitting now that you made a mistake. Like you've taught us, making mistakes is how we learn. Mayor Fuller, you said you support the schools, but the bravest thing you can do today, to be as brave as all the teachers standing out here in the cold, is to put down your words, to put down your excuses, and go and do something about it. Yeah. Enough is enough! 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 Well, that's a hard one to follow. from talking about high school to talking about preschool. The youngest kid in Hi everyone, my name is Ashley Raven. I am a preschool special education teacher at Newton Early Childhood Program, sometimes known as the hidden gem of Newton Public Schools, also known as Newton's best kept secret. <laughs> NECP is an integrated preschool program with 14 classrooms that serve students ages three to five years old. As an integrated program, we have roughly 
50% of our students who are typically developing, and the other 50% of our students have identified disabilities and are receiving special education services. We educate students who are non-speaking, non-ambulatory, students with severe behavioral need, students with complex medical needs, such as G-tubes, tracheostomies, catheters, colostomy bags, students with rare genetic syndromes, students with autism spectrum disorders, and more. And we do it all in the context of what looks like a typical preschool classroom. <laughs> CP, we have the absolute honor, privilege, and immense responsibility of educating Newton's youngest and most vulnerable students, as well as being a family's first introduction to the Newton Public Schools. As you can imagine, the level of need presented by our students requires a high level of staffing. We have roughly 50 teaching assistants and behavior therapists with whom our program would not run. <laughs> These incredible educators run behavior support plans, help make ac academic accommodations and modifications on the fly, teach small groups, model language on communication devices, support social skills, get up and down from the floor all day, sit in very tiny preschool chairs, and deal with way more bodily fluids than should be expected in any job outside the medical field. And yet, they are not able to live on their salaries. majority of Unit C members need second and even third jobs in order to afford basic necessities such as housing and food. However, it is not only the low salaries that contribute to the financial hardships Unit C members face at NECP. There are 19-hour positions making those employees ineligible for health insurance. There are 28-hour positions which require an employee to work more than a full school year in order to earn a step increase and a year towards their retirement. Whether this is intentional on the part of the school district or not, the impact is clear. Unit C staff are not given the respect of earning a living wage for the incredible work they do, and it is driving skilled educators away from Newton and the field of education. Yes. <laughs> Mayor Fuller, members of the school committee, I invite you to come work as a Unit C staff member. <laughs> in any of our schools for one week. Live on a Unit C salary for one week. Experience the emotional exhaustion felt after a student aggresses towards you because they don't have the communication skills needed to tell you what's wrong. Experience the physical exhaustion felt after spending the day running after a student who elopes. Experience the cognitive exhaustion felt after needing to make more than a thousand educational decisions every single day. Experience the pain of watching a family process a new diagnosis as you hold your, their hands through it. Experience the joy of watching a student perform a task independently that you have been working on for months. Experience what it is like to be unable to take care of your own basic needs, such as drinking water, eating, and going to the bathroom, because you are responsible for helping a child meet their needs. At the end of that week, you tell us if you felt fairly compensated. for the word.
Mark, you did. You tell us if the amount of work and compensation felt sustainable for an entire school year, let alone an entire career. If not, I urge you to ask yourself, how much is the education of Newton's children worth? Settle the contract now so we can get back to what is really important, educating our students. Enough is enough! 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 Hi everyone, I'm Jamie Rinaldi. I'm a history teacher at Newton South High School. So amazed and heartened to see some of my students the on the stairs today, and I am honored to stand here with members of the Mass Nurses, Nurses Association, our school nurses here in New York. Last, last night, they invited uh, people from our union, and I, I was able to, to, to join them and talk a little bit about our struggle. It's the same struggle they're fighting. They are also working without a contract. Yeah. They stand in solidarity with us. Yeah. We stand in solidarity with yeah. them. Yeah. No one in our schools better understands how difficult the last few years have been. And so I'm gonna turn the mic over to Lucy, who's a school nurse over at Brown Middle School. Yeah. professional school nurse. I'm a proud municipal worker. I am a proud union member of the MNA. And I would rather be doing almost anything else than public speaking right now. But I am here to express my pride of and my privilege of working with Newton educators every day for the last 10 plus years. We stand with you in the schools, we stand with you on the line, and we stand with you here at City Hall. We need a fair contract now for you guys, and then when it's our turn, the same thing for us. Thank you so, so much. short people. My name is Natalia Espinal. I have been a Newton I have been a Newton educator since 2000. My My kids have all attended Newton Public Schools since kindergarten. Now they are at Horace Mann Day in Newton North. We moved to Newton in 2019 because we believe in Newton Public Schools. More importantly, we believe in the Newton educators. My colleagues care about your kids. We don't want to be in this position either, but we are fighting for a better education for all of our students. Help us get back to the classroom. everybody. Oh, I love this Newton energy. My name is Jayshawn Simmons and I am the very proud president of the Somerville Educators Union. On behalf of the SEU, I want to commend all of you for doing the very courageous work of fighting for the contract you all deserve. Hear me when I say all of 800 plus SEU members stand with you today and each day until you get that contract. And I know it's been said, nobody wants to be here, not in this cold, not even when it's warm. We don't want to have to be here, and yet you all made the brave, courageous, and righteous decision to advocate for yourselves, 
your students, and your Newton community. Once again, <laughs> once again, you are showing the Newton leaders what they have to do, and that is to put students first. In order to do that though, they need to have a staff that is respected, has access to the appropriate materials to do their work, and that they are compensated for the crucial work they do in classrooms every single day. I offer all of you this today. Trust in yourself that you are doing the right thing for your community. In any moment of doubt, remember what it is that you are fighting for, Remember that you are the experts on your students and know that you deserve what you are asking for. As I told Andover in the fall, and I will say to you today, as you stand up for yourselves, your students, the profession, the impact you have will ripple out in ways that you cannot even imagine now. When you win, and I want to be so clear about this, you are going to win. Yeah. When you win, it will go beyond any specific contract proposal that you put forth. To find and seize your power will be transformative for you as individuals, as educators, as unionists, as community members. But it will also be for your transformative for your students who are right here with you today because they are seeing you. Yeah, give it up for your students. It'll be transformative for your students because they are seeing you stand up for the education they know they deserve in the classroom. And as a neighboring union, it'll be transformative for all other educators in the Commonwealth as you redefine what is possible in our schools. And with your energy, I can't wait to get to the bargaining table in Somerville in the fall. With all this new power that you are bringing to our profession. All right? Because when we fight, we win. When we fight, we win. I'm sorry. When we fight, we win. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. educators, Newton community, Newton allies, can you help me send a message to the mayor right now? Yeah. Maybe with 2,000 plus people here, it'll be loud enough for the mayor to hear. What do you think? Yeah. I always wondered what this would sound like with 2,000 people saying it. What do we want? Yeah. When do we want it? Yeah. What do we want? When do we want it? 